Hello everyone! So today I'm going to talk about my vampy or like dark lipstick collection. So some are not really red, some are a bit brown but yeah or like a bit darker orange but yeah I consider them still vampy um, lipsticks because they, yeah, they're more the, in the darker side. First I'm going to talk to you about my, what I'm wearing right now. So it's the Bourjois Rogue Edition Velvet in the shade 33 Bron Bron Curiable. I hope I'm saying that right. But I've seen this um, shade through Instagram and was really interested getting it, but it was hard to find it. Uh, so it was not sold here in Belgium or in Netherlands. That's what I remember. I needed to order it in uh, Phil Unique France, so it was in France, but I cannot find it here. So I think it w it was an old um, shade, but yeah, I, I just love like how this looks like. It's not too not too dark, but yeah, it, this is still considered us. But while I'm looking at it now, it feels like it can be a MLBB as well. Hmm. Yeah, but in the camera it's really lo it looks really dark but in person it can be or i think this is just too dark for an M mlbb shade so this is really a pretty shade and yeah i if you want like a vampy but not too intense kind of shade i recommend this shade from bourgeois and the formula is really good it's really comfortable it's really soft it's really velvety and yeah it's really com comfortable on your lips these are not like transfer proof kind of formula but i still love it and yeah it's sad because i didn't wear this a lot because i have too much lipstick but i'm i will surely uh wear this more because it's really a pretty like dark red but uh, just just enough darkness that it's not like too much for everyday wear. so the next shade is nature republic triple meringue tint in the shade 03 red brownie so this is also like almost the same formula as the bourgeois one but this is much more softer and yeah i like the formula of the bourgeois compared to this because i feel like this is a bit patchy it was a bit a struggle to apply because some parts are not equally distributed so i needed to use my finger so it took longer than the bourgeois and yeah i feel like i don't really like this kind of um I don't like how it looks now on my lips. I think this is, would be great when uh, just on the middle of your um, lips, like a gra gradient look. So, but alone, I think I don't really like it. Maybe if it's a bit softer, if I would blend it more with a finger, it would look great. But now I don't really like it. But yeah, if you like the the not sm not so opaque and like um, yeah, it's really like a. Re meringue or really soft kind of formula that you might like if you don't like that liquid lipstick or like thicker kind of tints kind of kind of feel on your lips you will love this because it's really soft it's really like um yeah it's th this was the first uh, formula i was like amazed that it's so like so light on the lips it's it was felt it's, it felt really soft and yeah it really comfy on the lips so this was the first formula that i was really amazed it's not the same as the normal tints that i i tried so yeah if you want like those like a soft light kind of formula you would love this so the next one is the uh, Too Faced melted matte liquid lipstick in the shade gingerbread girl so i'm really sad that i didn't wear this this that much because uh, now as I look at it, it's really a pretty shade, although I see now that it emphasizes my dry dry patches, but yeah, this is really a pretty shade. I love the formula because compared to the Maybelline um, liquid lipstick that I tried, this really soft and not so heavy feeling on the lips, which is really amazing. And when I try to distribute it with my lips, it's yeah it doesn't feel so doesn't feel sticky at all and now it's and it's also dries quickly so i'm really amazed with this i should really try to use this more although i'm not sure if this is still good because this is already more than a year it's only good for a year so yeah it's really sad i love that 
how it looks on my lips how it feels it's not thick so i might try other color from this line because it's really a pretty shade and yeah it transfer a bit but i think this would be really long lasting on my lips i will try to use this more because probably it will, it's expired now but yeah while applying it it's really still feels amazing and yeah i don't see like any black spots or anything like that because i think i only wore it a few times so i think it should be still okay i love how it smells and yeah the formula is amazing i should have worn this that's a pro problem when you have too much lipsticks you forget what you have and yeah you cannot just use anything uh you're the things that you like because you have too much so yeah after this i would also declutter some of my lipsticks i think they're red lipsticks so i can con i would concentrate more or like um yeah i will just see things that i really love and want to use it's also a limited edition so i think they're they're not on sale now but or they they don't sell it now but i think every christmas they sell this i hope this christmas they will sell it again because if it's not good anymore i will surely uh repurchase this because it's really a pretty um red lipstick that normally i it's not too red like there's still a hint of like purple or like maroon kind of um combination that's why it's okay it's not like a blue red that's why i think i like it so yeah so now i'm done with the lip tints and liquid lipstick so we are now going to the bullet lipsticks the light today is really crazy that's why you will see different kinds of lighting because i'm using the light outside like natural light and yeah it goes dark dark bright dark bright so sorry for different kinds of lighting you'll see with this video so the next one is the bourgeois rogue velvet the lipstick this is really a pretty like dark red so i also saw this i think on instagram that i was really on a hunt for this because i couldn't find it here in belgium and in the netherlands so i also probably got this in france or maybe here normally i buy them when they're like out on sale because they go on sale a lot here this brand so yeah this is really um hmm, this feels like like a liquid when the liquid lipstick dries down like it will not budge anymore but yeah it dries really nicely it's not too matte but i i can feel like it will be really a long lasting lipstick because it's um yeah it dries down really like you i feel like it dries like a liquid lipstick so probably this would be a really good long lasting lipstick and also the red is not too in your in your face kind of shade and i feel like it reminds me a bit of the two face that kind of red but the two face is just a bit darker yeah this is also a pretty um vampy red that yeah i highly recommend the formula it's great and yeah it's it's dry it's not really drying but i think for some it will feel like drying but for me it's okay and yeah it really looks so good as well so next shade is the style on the 3CE matte lipstick in the shade 909 smoked rose so this is not really the a true red shade this is more and the following lipstick as well they are more orange combination with the red kind of um uh shade so this is also a pretty dark red toned or like yeah it's really like a smoked rose kind of a shade that yeah i also rarely use which is sad because this is really a pretty shade as well so i like to combine this with other shades like i will apply this in the middle part so it's for a gradient effect but yeah this is also a pretty like if you don't like r really red tone kind of shade you would really like this and the formula is also matte it's not that hydrating it's a bit trying but yeah I, I like matte anyway so it's not a problem for me and your tracy lipsticks are really good and yeah I highly recommend them as well so the next shade is the mac matte lipstick in the shade marrakesh so this is also a ve uh, instagram influence purchase because i saw a lot of people raving about it and the swatch swatches were really pretty and i want to have something like this like this is the shade that i only wear during autumn winter time because yeah th normally this is the shade i like to wear during those seasons and 
the other this is really a pretty yeah like more like smoked red or rose kind of shade like the style on the one and yeah i love the formula of this i love the shade and yeah i feel like it will suit a lot of skin tone and yeah this is one of my favorite and most used matte lipstick and yeah i highly recommend this shade if you're looking for this kind of um shade for during like fall or winter time and the last shade is the milani matte lipstick in the shade style so this is also my darkest lipstick in my collection so i i think this is really a different kind of yeah normally i don't really like bronze anymore but yeah i just wanted to try how it would look on me if i would like it but looking at it now i don't think i will ever use this because it's just too like vampy or too dark kind of lipstick for the looks i go for and yeah i think this is just too much so if you like the, the dark kind of um effect i think you will like this and matte melanin lipstick it's really hydrating it's really comfy on the lips and although they're not as long lasting as other lipsticks but yeah i still love their formula it's really one of the best formula i've tried and yeah this is the matte style if you like this kind of lipstick i think you would really love this so yeah those were my uh, dark or vampy lipstick collection so sorry it's really a crazy lighting my lighting today is really not good because of the weather outside but yeah i hope you still see the true colors of the lipsticks that i reviewed so yeah those were my um vampy lipstick collection so if, if i would choose my top pick i think i would choose this one from bourgeois the bron croyable because yeah this is just really a uh, not in in your face kind of red and my least favorite would be this one the matte style because it's just too dark too brown for my liking and for what i love personally and probably the, my top two would be this the two faced one and another bourgeois because they're really a pretty shade and also this from marrakesh but for like dark reds these are the best for me and like for like red orange kind of shade marrakesh is my pick so yeah i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any suggestions for vampy lipsticks that i might like please do let me know and yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye